guys, I'm Jen. I am back again with another video today. Um, I'm having an interview. I'm kind of like rushing because it starts at 4 o'clock and it's 3.30 right now. And I live like 11 minutes away from me. So I'm kind of like rushing. But I'm not because my ride not even here yet. So I just did my, put my earrings in, put my hair up in the way. It look a hot mess. I need to take this out. But I help it in because I ain't feel like brushing my hair up for today. And then I got a button up shirt that I wore Sunday. I was some regular jean pants and some Air Max on. And I'm waiting on my ride to get here. See, I'm going to get back to y'all. I'm going like, to keep y'all updated through the day. And I might turn this into another, like a, a, a bigger vlog than what it is. But this, for right now, is called my interview vlog. So I'm going to get back with y'all in a minute. It's my ride calling and telling me that they was going to be a little late. But it's alright, it's alright. I just let them know that I got stuck in traffic or something, but, yeah, you know, I'm just coming in and updating y'all every step of the way, and I'll probably update y'all when I'm in the car, I'll update y'all again when I'm on, um, when I'm at the interview, or after the interview, and tell y'all how I went, but, yeah, y'all yeah, stay tuned. Alright, y'all, so, today, I know it's, like, days after my interview, my interview is on Saturday, it's now Monday, and I'm on my way to take my permit test, y'all wish me luck. I hope I pass. I've been reading this book. I don't read this book. I'm halfway through the book. Let me say that. I um, watched the video of them reading this actual book. This, the Florida Driver License Handbook. I read, I watched the video of them reading it. I watched the um the 100 question quiz thing. And last night I watched the uh, 50 question quiz thing. And I was like answering the questions or whatnot. And while we're on the way to the DMV, mom just had to stop to the store right quick. But uh, while we're on the way to the DMV, I've been reading. I'm on page. I'm currently on page four. 45 i think i had to slip it because i thought we was already there we had the wrong address that first the first one we went to their computers was down which was good because i was only on page 27 28 but now i'm on page 45 and i'm going to continue reading until we get there we're like eight miles away from it where y'all wish me luck i am so nervous but i just know god is on my side and i'm gonna pass this test it can't be that hard. I don't took tests that had more questions than this. I should not be scratched about probably 50 questions. I don't took 100, I don't test, 100 question tests. I don't took 60 question tests. I'm not stressing about no 50 question tests. I'm going to pass this, ace it, and the next step is getting my license and then getting my car. So, yeah. Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to come back and tell y'all if I pass. Well, I am going to pass. I'm going to come back and tell y'all when I pass my test. And, yeah. Alright, bye. See y'all later. Alright, y'all. So, I made it back home. I passed my permit test. I just have to do my drug and alcohol test and I can go back up there and get my permit. And, oh yeah, about that job. I, I had started the vlog off by saying I was going to start a job um, interview. Please tell me why I made a blank trip that day. That's why this vlog, it just, it's all, it's going to be all over the place now because I have to make up stuff as I go because I can't just start, start a vlog and I finish it. So, I went to that interview, and let's just say I never even sat down and had an interview. I asked the lady, um, I told the lady I'm here for an interview. She said, oh, we're not even, we're not even doing open interviews until two weeks from now, which is in May. So, I was like, okay. And then she asked me, is I'm, am I a student in school? I'm sorry, I'm talking like that. My dog throat is sore. She asked me, am I a student in school? Please tell me why this lady going to tell me, oh, we don't accept students anymore. You're a fast food restaurant. Y'all have a drive through headset, ca cashier, y'all not a 95 sit down at a desk type job. Y'all are a fast food restaurant. How do y'all not accept students? Ain't that what y'all supposed to do? Give us tuitions and scholarships to go to college and stuff? Who was who who you giving a scholarship to if you don't accept students? But anyways. That's neither here nor there. I didn't get the job. I didn't even have an interview. I'm not going to go back up there. I'm just going to start my business. I was supposed to have been and start my business, but it's been a lot of stuff that I had to pay off. Like, my permit, which is important. I got my permit. Um, I had to, uh, I went and got my nose repairs. And please tell me why I fell back out. I'm not going to get a piercing. I'm just going to go get tatted up. I'm just going to get some tattoos or whatever. So, yeah. Tomorrow, I'm going to be vlogging, and I'm going to show y'all when me going to get my permit, if I remember it. If I don't remember, I'm going to come on here. I'm going to show y'all my permit, whatever, because I get to go get my permit. I took my picture yesterday. Yes, yesterday, because this is me. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. Yesterday, I took my picture. And, bro, when I tell you, I passed that test with just a pinch. 
She said, you have to have 40 questions correct. And guess how many questions I got right? 40 on the dot. Not for, um, one less than 40, not one more than 40. It's actually 40 on the dot. I skipped one of the questions and I got nine wrong. But we're not going to talk about that. I passed that test. On first try. No, second try, third try. First try. Like, thank the Lord. I read that book front to back in two days to make sure I didn't pass. I, I pa made sure I passed that test. Please tell me why the test didn't even have half of the stuff that was in the book. It was just asking simple questions like what to do on turning and stuff like that. Certain signs like the bridge sign and stuff like that. It didn't even have all the questions that's in the book. So if you really want to have the answers to the test, go on YouTube and search for the DMV test. And some of the questions that's in that test that they give you the answers to, that's what it is. Keep watching the video repeatedly the week, the whole week that you go and take your test. And I promise you, you're going to pass that test. Just have faith in yourself. Don't go in there and be like, oh, I'm going to fail this test. That's how you fail the test. Go in there with faith. So, yeah, I passed the test. I got my permit when I, okay. And then, what else am I going to do? That's it. Let me tell you how much this thing on permit cost. So, the, the test was actually $6. Yeah, the test was $6.15. The thing on drug and, um, the drug and alcohol test I just had to pay online was nineteen dollars, not bad. Tomorrow I'm have to pay fifty five dollars to actually get my permit. I'm so glad I put some money to the side, baby, because I would have cried if I would hurt that price and I ain't had no money. So all together I spent like seventy five dollars. Yeah, about fifty. I mean, not fifty five. Seventy five, eighty dollars. And it's very much worth it because I needed my permit. And I should have really been and went and did that. So I could have got my license. They said I could have got my license today. But I wasn't ready to take that driver's license. I would have crashed with people's car. Mm -mm. I ain't drive a car in like three months. And when I drove a car, it wasn't even for a long distance. I drove across a, I drove across a parking lot. And I drove like, you know how you have a big old parking lot and it's like a street, like a two-way street? That's how I was driving. I never drove on the actual road. I, I drove towards a road. I drove around cars I was moving before, but I never drove on the actual street. So, my mom said, since I get this permit, I'm be driving. I'm scared. I'm not scared. It's just, it's it's unusual. Like, I never, I never get the, here, go drive. Like, they never give me the keys and be like, go drive. They probably mad at me right now because it's like 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm the only one talking. And it's quiet. But anyways. <laughs> so I'm going to get back to y'all in the morning. Well, it's probably not going to be anymore. It's going to be the afternoon time. Because I got to go to the bank and get proof of address. So I can change my address on my ID too. Uh, on my permit. I ain't got no ID no more. I got a permit, baby. <laughs> but anyways, I got to go to the bank and get my bank statement for my address or whatever. And then I'm going to go through the DMV and get my permit. Alright y'all, so I'm still in the bed. Well, I wasn't in the bed all day. I just got back in the bed. It's currently like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I got done with my permit. No, I permit test my drug and alcohol test like real late. I got done with that dang on test at 12, 1 o'clock. And by the time I got done with it, you know how long it is to get through the line in the DMV? I'm not gonna go up there. I'm gonna go up there first thing in the morning, get my um, permit. I ought to pay 50 something dollars. So this whole process it cost me a hundred, I mean, not a hundred. It cost me eighty one dollars. And good thing I put that money to the side, cause baby, the first money I spent, the first couple dollars I spent was seven dollars. That was for the test. I spent, I probably told y'all this already, but I'm telling y'all, yeah, I don't care. I spent seven dollars for the test. I spent nineteen, almost twenty dollars for uh, for my um drug and alcohol test, and then my actual permit is about to be fifty some dollars so i ain't gonna have no money after that and that's a good thing because i got everything accomplished that i was needing to accomplish i said once i get paid i was gonna pay i mean pay and get my permit and that's exactly what i did i ain't spend money on something else i wasn't supposed to spend money on and the extra money i did have is some people paying me back or whatnot and for me cashing in my coins that i be collecting you know so well i ain't collect i ain't I ain't um cashing on coins yet, so I still got money, but yeah, I spent 
my good little 80 something dollars gonna get me a permit and I ain't gotta worry about nothing for the next couple months while I'm learning how to drive. Well, I'm, I know how to drive, but I mean like getting comfortable behind the wheel because if I get my license, I'm going to the DMV, not the DMV, I'm going to the car dealership and get me a car. I might get me a cash car because I really don't want to pay no uh, monthly bill, but it's good for my credit. So I go buy me a house. So I don't know. I might just get a credit card for that. But I don't think that's enough credit to get a house. I'm trying to buy a house by the time I'm 19 years old. My 19th birthday is like seven months away. I'm trying to get my life together because I know I'm going to go to college next year. But I want to be able to come back home and have a house to go to when I get back home. So I'm going to buy me a house. Well, put a down payment on the house and pay off the house so I can have a house. Then I'm going to have a car. I'm thinking about just, I'm going to pay half of the car note off. And then use the rest of like the payments or whatnot to build up my credit. Because give myself some time to have to pay for it. Because you know how you can pay in advance like your rent. You can pay your rent like three months full out. And then the next three months, that's what I'm thinking about doing with my car. But I don't know. I don't even got a car now. I'm telling you that's my car. But when I get a car, that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, I'm just out here renting. I ain't really got nothing to do. I'm gonna come back on here tomorrow when I'm going up to the DV and getting my permit because I was supposed to go today. But my tablet died like three times while I was taking my test and I passed that. But it's surprising how I passed like the scores that I got. So I got a 90 on my, my uh, driver's permit test, the one I took in the DMV. I couldn't cheat at all. So that was, that was surprising. I got nine wrong and like I got 40 on the dot, right? I skipped one of the questions. I think I told y'all this yesterday, but I don't care. I'm repeating myself. I'm watching TV. I'm watching the ghetto family. Y'all go check them out, too. Because I just found them, like, a couple minutes ago. They're real funny. Real funny. They remind me of my family, but in a funny way. My family just ghetto and ratchet. And get on my nerves. And I hope they hear me, too. I don't care. Me, she just heard me. Hold on, I'll be back. All right, so she was just telling me she was leaving. I don't think she heard me, but um, my family just get and ratchet for no reason. But I just realized I was smacking this gum kind of hard, but it's all the flavor of this gum. I'm trying to grass it before it goes. You know, when you have gum in your mouth too long, the flavor start like going away when I. So yeah, I'm trying to get all the flavor out of gum. So yeah, that's why I'm smacking so hard. So don't be like, oh she she yeah you're ratchet actually, but I'm not the ratchet that y'all think that I'm ratchet. I just, you know, certain things that I do is ratchet. But I'm not that hood rat ratchet, if you know what I mean. I am ghetto, though. Very. All right, I'll be back with y'all because I'm watching this video. I'm watching this video. All right, y'all. So it's like a day later. I had talked to y'all yesterday. Today's a new day. It's like the end of the day. It's like 12 something the next day. So, it's technically two days from the day I started. I mean, left off from here. So, um, I went, talked to the DMV people, got my permit or whatever. And I was supposed to come back on camera and show y'all that I got my permit. I'm just going to show y'all my actual ID, but I was going to come in and show y'all. Show y'all. I keep saying show y'all. I wasn't going to show y'all my, my address and all that. I was going to come back on here and tell y'all, let y'all know I got my permit. That's what I was trying to say. I was going to come back on here and let y'all know. But then I forgot. I was taking pictures, like, showing it all. I was so happy. That was the best $81 that I spent. Because I got what I actually wanted. I took time, dedication. I studied for the longest. I've been studying for a year. And I find I passed the test for sure. That's what hard work and dedication get you. I take the course for the thing. I, let me let y'all know I did not read. I did not watch it. I just click, 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 click. And let the timer do, do its best. And I passed the um, exam without cheating or anything. And it was at home. I did pretty good. It was very easy. If you're looking out to do that, go ahead and do that. Don't procrastinate. Go ahead and get your permit. Go get your license if you want it. I wasn't getting my license yet because I knew for a fact I'm not ready. They would have been like, get in the car. What's the first thing you do? I will put my seatbelt on, start the car. I wouldn't know what to do next because I would be so nervous. Like, 
when I say I drew before, but I never drew like on a busy road, never drew, drew on a main road. Like, you know how at the light you sit away, whatever, and got traffic around you. So, I drove around moving cars, but I never drove around like busy roads and stuff like that. So, I was like nervous. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take the permit test, whatever. Got my permit. So, the next step is getting my license, but I'm not worried about my license right now. My permit is enough, and it don't expire until. 2028, I believe. I don't know what year. I'm good off that because by the time next year hit, I'm going to have my license. Matter of fact, I'm going to have my license before my 19th birthday. Let's just say that because I'm going to be driving. But anyway, it's not trying to make it to the end of this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get the next video. And remember, this is my life and you're just watching. I've been holding back this secret from you. I probably shouldn't tell.